Hey rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. As you can see from our intro, today's episode is going to be a, another dramatic one. I am actually going to be getting to the Guangxi Royal Family later in this episode, so we will talk about everything that you guys just saw in just a moment. We are actually going to be starting this episode with King Henry's funeral. This is gonna be a really sad episode, I just realized that. I know in the last episode I was saying that like, I wanna try to keep things happy and stuff, but I know that this episode doesn't seem like it's going to be very happy. There's a lot we're gonna talk about. I am going to try to convince, condense it a little bit, like just shorten it a little bit, just because I just got back from California yesterday and I am supposed to be posting this video tomorrow and it's already like nine o'clock at night, so I don't have that much time to edit it. So I'm gonna have to shorten this as much as I can, but I've actually already started King Henry's funeral. And as you guys know, if you've seen my previous videos, if for some reason, it just takes a really long time for guests to arrive at the Windenburg Royal Palace. So while they're arriving, I'll just talk through a few things. So the first thing I wanna talk about is for my next video, I'm going to be doing a character Q and A. And I thought this would be fun and I will explain it all when we do that video. But basically it's going to be questions for our characters that I'll be answering for our characters. So like, what is the character? Think of another one, like one of the ones I saw. So if you missed the community post that I did post a few days ago, then you will get to see like my description of it and some questions that people have already asked. And then I also had some people ask on my Instagram as well. But for example, someone asked, how does Princess Araminta feel about Kimberly? So I think that's a really good one. I'm going to avoid questions that are going to spoil anything in future episodes that I haven't introduced yet, but I might talk about some things that we've already introduced, like Harmony and all of them. So the questions are open until March 10th. So you can go ahead and ask a question on my community post and leave a comment until March 10th. So I know that only gives you a day since this video is coming out, but at least it's giving you a little bit of a heads up. And then we can actually just go ahead and like check out the palace for now. Also a heads up, my sound for some reason isn't working on my laptop unless I use my headphones, but like you guys can't hear the sound if I use my headphones. Actually, can you? Oh, hold on, let me check. Okay, I just tried. I, I think it's saying you can. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll see after this video is posted. Hopefully this works because I want you guys to still be able to hear some things. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to talk about just really quick before we actually officially start the funeral is the quiz that I posted. That was my last video that I posted. It was an official Royal Family episode, but I loved seeing what you guys got for the quiz for the personality quiz. So if you miss it, I did post a Royal Family character personality quiz to see which character you're most similar to. I thought it was so funny that I think more than half the people got Amira, which I think is funny just because she she is our main character. But I did actually make a few changes. I'm kind of limited to like the number of characters I can give us answers and the number of questions I can ask just because of the way that it works with that quiz. But I did make a few changes and I added a few more characters. So if you wanna take it again, you can. So I'll link that quiz in the description below. And then if you take it again, you can let me know what you get. I'll also link the video below. So if you didn't see it yet, you can see what I got as well. Okay, so that's mostly what I wanted to talk about. So, uh, as we saw in the last episode, unfortunately, King Henry did pass away of old age. It was so sad. I was so sad. I definitely cried. A lot of people said they cried. Some people said they didn't cry until they saw the photo montage at the end of the video. One person commented that they just imagine that May and Alice were waiting for King Henry after he died. And then so were his parents. And then his dad, King George, comes up to him and said, you made the right decision. And I like, oh my gosh, I started tearing up a lot. I was like, it's so happy and sad at the same time. But we have started our funeral. So you guys can see here, we have little Lord or Prince William. I'm trying to change all their outfits. I The reason it took me so long to actually start filming was because I was changing everyone into wearing black clothes. And that just took like, it took like two hours to do that. I don't know why, I just did. We have all of our guests here. We have Prince, Cor oh, okay. Okay, Queen Nina, you need to wear your all black outfit. Um, actually, Queen Nina is still in mourning from Yo, or not Johan. Oh, no, 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 Johan didn't die. Oh my gosh, no, King Jared, her husband, King Jared. Oh, and then Evangeline too, you need to wear your black outfit. I, 
I changed you all in black for a reason. Can you please wear them? But, okay, so yeah. So I feel like, okay, I do think that maybe Bellatrix has heard about Araminta's dad, Emperor Jack. Oh, she's actually in here. Yeah, she's in here right now. Charles is, is, oh, Charles is already crying about his dad. And then Araminta, oh, not Araminta. Oh gosh, no. Bellatrix, I'm just, I want to have her complain about problems, but what I'm really having her do is, she's going to hug him too, is that she found out about Araminta's father like just now. I don't know. I think that maybe Samaria or someone, they might have texted her and told her about it. Samaria should actually, I think she should be here too. But yeah, so Bellatrix is telling Charles about Araminta's father. She just found out this morning that he was murdered and we will talk about that in this episode. And Charles is like doesn't know what to do, I feel like, because he has been going to counseling, which I've mentioned a couple times in the past few episodes, and he's been doing a little bit better, but obviously this whole thing just happened with his father. His father just passed away, which is leaning on these whole new things. He's definitely still, like I know some people were saying Charles needs to like move on, but it's gonna be really hard for him to move on. So he's still getting over Araminta. He's still trying really hard. His therapist, I feel like told him that he really needs to, to give Araminta her space, try not to talk to her, like definitely does like make sure he does not talk to her because Araminta asked for space, so he needs to respect her and do that for her. So I think that, oh my gosh, she's crying so much, this is so sad. So I do feel like Charles is trying to resist the urge to text Araminta or call Araminta. Cause like, oh, oh gosh, why are you so angry, Cornelius? What are you doing? You're just sitting there and you're so angry. But yeah, I think Charles is like, should I text her? Like I really wanna say something to her. I feel awful. Like. That's that's horrible. That's horrible. Her father, they think that he's just been murdered, like he was poisoned and they have to figure out why and we have to figure out why. So I get to hear your guys' thoughts on that too. And I think Charles just really wants to say something to her, but he knows that he needs to respect her space. She asked for space, so he needs to give that to her, especially with the whole thing that happened at the debutante ball with Han. Like I feel like Charles is still super embarrassed about it. But I think that when Araminda is ready to talk to him, then Charles will apologize to her and give her like the apology that she deserves for doing that to her, for doing that with like Kimberly and everything. So it's just gonna be a whole thing. I'll talk about this a lot in my character Q&A video too. I might give like a few spoilers in that video. Just you guys will get to hear what I'm working on and like what story plots I have in mind. I'm so excited. I have so much going on in my head, you guys. There's like not enough episodes. I have to decide for the next episode. I'm like, which one should I do next? I think I have like six things in mind, like six different machinima intros for like different topics and different problems going on. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I will probably have to do an episode where it's just like fun and happy is just to like give us a little bit of a break. Oh yeah, and then also just seeing Cornelius, we will focus on him a little bit in the next episode. He is still angsty. He's working on the farms still. I think it's actually doing some good for him. I think just being out there, like I think he's still trying to get over the fact that he has to do it, but I will get to talk about him soon. We'll get to like really figure him out in a few episodes, which I'm excited to do. Cause like with Cornelius, I was just a little bit like, I was just trying to figure him out. I'm like, why is he like this? Like, what's he doing? And I think I really have. And I, I just feel like his whole character is starting to make sense to me now. And then we have Jabari here. We'll talk about Azara in another episode. I don't think I'm gonna have time to talk about her in this episode. I do think Azara is trying to get a hold of King Cayman and she hasn't been able to. So we'll cover them in another episode. And then one other thing I need to mention. So people need to go like mourn King Henry. I put his portrait here, you guys, at his casket. This is custom content, by the way. It comes with a funeral mod. Oh gosh, I also got the meaning Meaningful Stories mod, which a lot of you guys recommended after my last video, which thank you so much, because this is really cool. It just, the moodlets last longer, and the ones that have to do with like a family death, they do also like have more impact. But I think something happened. I think I just exited out or something and the moodlets went away. But they, I think it will work. I just think I did something wrong. But where, I don't know where he is. Makai should be here because we need to talk about Makai. We're actually gonna focus on him in the next episode with Makai, what's going on is that he has been taking care of his mother and father and Sulani because they're getting older. His mother actually just passed away. I was like, Oh no, like the timing of all of this is really sad. And Makai also broke up with Kayla. I mentioned before that they had been kind of dating and then I don't remember if I told you guys if that he had asked her to be his girlfriend or not, but I don't think they 
fit together, guys. It has to feel right for me. Makai and Kayla, I just don't think he was really that into her. I love Makai, you guys, so I will make sure he finds happiness. I know I have a lot of Makai fans out there. I love him so much, but we will definitely focus on him in the next episode. But he is actually, cause someone was saying when King Henry dies, Makai's out of a job, which is not true because King Henry hired Makai knowing that he would be Amira's royal advisor one day. So he's Amira's royal advisor, but he's just like kind of on leave right now, but he's supposed to be at the funeral. Yeah, I'll probably be ending this funeral in just a moment. I do want to say really quickly though, because I did post the mod review of the Timeless mod a week ago. So for that mod, once I showed you guys in Newcrest and how I was talking about it feeling really Southern, the word I was looking for was colonial. Someone pointed that out in the comments. So I was trying to say that Newcrest looked too colonial and didn't feel like a kingdom. A lot of people were saying that I should turn it into like a democracy and have like presidents. Oh my gosh, what is she doing? What is happening right now? This game is spazzing out a little bit. But people were saying that I should have a president there. I've already mentioned this before. I think I mentioned it in one of my Q and A's. I'm not planning on making New Crest into a kingdom. It's called the Royal Family, my series. So I don't see why I would have a president. I know obviously there's other forms of government around the world besides a monarchy, but this is called the Royal Family and it's a fantasy series. So in my head, it's just a bunch of Royal families everywhere. So that's why I'm not gonna have like a president or anything like that. I think we're gonna end the funeral here. I am going to go ahead to the Royal family of Glimmerbrook. So we had people come pay with their respects to King Henry. All right, we are now at the Royal Glimmerbrook Palace. So the Royal family of Glimmerbrook have been up all night trying to figure this out. The police have been here, detectives have been here. So what had happened was you guys saw Anya got into a huge argument with her father. She was pissed and then her mother came in, Empress Mei Lin came in to tell Araminta because they had found Emperor Zhao poisoned. They have those like bright rings on them when they get poisoned. I wish it was just like a little bit more subtle, but Emperor Zhao, I think he was supposed, like he was at the very end of his life almost already. So he was supposed to die of old age. So we're trying to figure out who exactly has killed Emperor Zhao. And you guys will have to let me know in the comments because it could be Anya because Anya just got into this argument with her father and I can explain her reasonings in a bit. But then do you guys think it's also Empress Mei Lin? Because Empress Mei Lin was having the affair and she had put her affair on hold with Kintaro because she told him that she just needs to be there for her daughter because Araminta was just going through the thing with the arranged marriage and Araminta and Mei Lin are really close. So it could have been Empress Mei Lin, but then again, and she, I mean, like if they like ran away together now, her and Kintaro, then that would look suspicious. But then I feel like maybe if it was Anya, she might also try to frame Araminta and say that Araminta did this so she could get out of the arranged marriage. I think Anya's whole goal thing was, so I don't know if I confirmed this with you guys yet, but Anya had a lot, to, I don't think I did. Yeah, Anya had a lot to do with the arranged marriage for, Han and Araminta. So she had sent a threat to kind of egg on Han's father. And then that's when Han's father sent the threat to Araminta's father and then just turned into this whole thing. But Anya had a lot to do with it, with the corresponding of things. But what she wanted to do was basically just break Araminta and have her go crazy so she could prove to her father that she wasn't capable of being the emperor. So I think that Anya had thought that she had gotten to that point where Araminta had just kind of shut herself off because she definitely hasn't been herself lately. She is really strong and like she's trying to push through it, but I think Anya is making it look a little bit worse than it is. So then that's when she thought she was finally ready and that there had been enough going on with Araminta that she could convince her father and then it didn't work. That's just when Anya snapped. So Takashi to, oh God, oh, Ooh, the three of them, Takashi and Mei Lin and Araminta, they are all, <gasps> whoa guys, Anya is in her father's office. She's in her father's office. Is she trying to look for something? Maybe. Oh, okay, so then yeah, 
So I think maybe Anya is trying to frame Araminta and saying that maybe Araminta was the one who killed her father because she wanted to get out of the arranged marriage. But actually, Araminta can't get out of the arranged marriage. And I feel like Anya might not know this, but the thing, I mean, she if she was smart, she would know this though, I think. Cause like her father was smart. Ember Zhao was smart and so was Han's father. They signed something that says, even if Han's father or Araminta's father dies, they still have to go through with the arranged marriage. Araminta and Han Han have actually still not talked since the debutante ball. I do think that Han has been wanting to ask her so many times. I feel like his sister has been pushing him and be like, you should ask Araminta to like come over for dinner and meet us or something like that. And I feel like Han's just way too nervous and shy. Like he's really shy. So I think he's tried so many times and then Araminta just hasn't really crossed her mind. Like it's an arranged marriage to her. I just think Araminta, like what's blocking her from her feelings with Han is the fact that it's an arranged marriage because she has seen the arranged marriage with her parents and she's heard about a lot of arranged marriages that haven't gone well. So to her, it's just like, okay, this is an arranged marriage. We're just gonna get married. Like it doesn't really mean anything. So that's why I feel like Araminda hasn't tried to contact him either. And then with Anya, so I know you guys had really been pushing for her and Cornelius. I just, it doesn't, it's not gonna work guys. There's just nothing there. There really isn't, uh, but they are really good friends. And then Takashi, maybe he's going to, I think he's gonna send a sad text to Elena, his girlfriend. Oh, oh. You guys, Elena is telling Takashi to come over. Should we do it? I was kind of hoping Han would ask Araminta over. I'll say, I'll say okay. Okay, well Takashi, well, I don't know. Is he supposed to be with his family? It's too late now, I already said yes. Oh my gosh, it's raining here too. Oh, oh, Juliet's out here too though. But I think Takashi is telling Elena about the whole thing. He just had to get out of the house, I think. I do think, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go back to the royal family of Glimmer Bro. So Takashi, he's now over at Elena's. I don't think we just need to pay too much attention to them. I just can imagine how that conversation's going. I think that Anya is just causing a lot of stress. Like, I don't think Araminta and Mei Lin suspect Anya is behind this stuff. I don't think that she thinks Anya would go as far as killing their own father. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Make sure you guys take the character personality quiz if you have not already. It's super detailed because I'm super into psychology so you guys can see which royal family character you're more similar to. If you're seeing this before March 10th, 2020, go ahead and ask any questions about my characters on my community post. I will put a link to that in the description below as well. So that way I can include that in my character Q&A video that I'll be posting in a few days. Let me know who you think killed Emperor Zhao and who poisoned him and who the killer is. Araminta is the emperor now and we will be having her ceremony in a few episodes as well. It might take a little bit longer just because they still need to find out who the killer is, but we will be doing that soon. Hit that like button if you have not already. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.